Hi guys, it's Talon here and today we're going to be doing a Adobe Substance Painter tutorial on how to render your 3D models. So let's jump straight into it. So first off you want to go up to mode and then we're going to go to rendering. And it'll take a little while to load depending on your PC. So let's take a quick look at these render settings. So up here you can see obviously the status and then the iterating, iterations and the rendering time. So if we scroll down a bit, first off, let's change the max samples all the way up to 10,000. And here you can see the iterations has also gone up. So effectively, the higher this is, the better quality the render will be. So the max time, we'll come back to that later. And then you can also see the resolution down here. So you might wanna change that, if so. Click on this and it allowed you to change it. For now, I'm going to keep that as is, and then let's go on to the next step. So let's bring this down a bit. Let's go all the way up to the top, and you'll see environment map. So I'm going to click on this here. Now the one I'm going to go for for this model is Studio 3, but you might want to have a little play around and look at the other environment maps. I'm going to move this over to the center a bit. Now what you want to do is make sure this is on world. You can see here now we've got a ground in and the shadow. Now I'm going to change the environment rotation to what I like. I quite like that in this case. So after we're happy with that, let's scroll down a bit. And let's go down here. So here you can see clear color. Now for this model, I'm going to go with a clear color, but you might prefer it without. And I'm going to use something around here, and I quite like 313131. Now at the moment, that does look a bit dark, but we'll change that later. Now I also like to have the ground on. And for the reflectivity, I like to have A1, A1, A1. You can see this is loading in here, and that's fine. We'll change these settings a bit later on. Now, I'm going to leave all the rest of these the same, but you might want to have a play around with them. So next, I'm going to go down to my color profile. Now, for this model, I'm going to go with sRGBF, and I'm going to change the tone mapping function down to linear. Now. I'm going to go all the way back up to post effects. I'm going to activate these, and there's two I quite like. So I'm going to go with vinaigrette, and I tend to have this on 0 0.7, 0 0.8. So let's try 0.7. I actually want that to come in a bit here. So I'm going to try 0 0.8. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So the next one I like is glare. So let's take this one off. And make this quite luminous and take the threshold down ever so slightly now, i don't want this too too bright as you can see it's quite a rough texture so you can take this all the way down and obviously that's way too much so i'm going to take this all the way back up i'm going to have a little bit here i quite like that i'm going to move this more central i tweak it again after that I do. Let's turn that right down. You see that glare is coming off a little metal, bare metal sticking out. I'm happy with that there. So once you're happy with all these settings, by all means have a play around and you might prefer different settings for your particular model. But for this model, I'm happy with these as is. So after we're happy with all of these, we go back to the render settings and I'm going to change the max time up to 10 minutes. Now what this will do is it will give us more rendering time effectively. So it will allow us to get more iterations. So once all of this is complete and the status has gone to done and we're at 10,000 out of 10,000 iterations, we'll come down to and we'll hit save render and that will save off the render. And what you might want to do is you might want to increase this max time 
a bit more. Just make sure you're getting to 10,000 iterations. As I mentioned before, that will give you a higher quality render. And that is it guys, that is how you render your 3D model in Adobe Substance Painter. If you like the video, be sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.